Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we won't be reacting to one of your suggestions. Please, if you're new here, please do to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So today we're checking out. I will never forgive this without repentance. Whoa, guys, you know you have been with me throughout this journey, guys. So guys, let's get straight into this. alcohol, taking drugs, riba, zina, burglary, robbery, gambling, sorcery, bribery, killing, rape, consuming the orphan's wealth, disobedience to parents, all oh, this noxious sin. Horrifying, horrible, dreadful, evil deeds. You know, many Muslims believe that these sins are the most worst and the most noxious of all sins. Yeah. But out there is one sin, just one, that is more worse than all these sins and much more accumulated together. It is the dreadful, horrifying, unforgivable, destructive sin of shirk. Allah says, we sent to every nation messengers to warn them, to tell them, to worship Allah alone and to protect themselves from the devil and the devil's plan and anything that is earning the anger and the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala top of the list is association of partners with Allah that is the top of the list as Allah says in the Quran inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha verily Allah does not forgive the one that associates partners with him and he forgives for everything other than that if he wills so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Mention the action that is not forgiven. If one dies upon that, understanding the message of the oneness of Islam and how we worship Allah, and they voluntarily deny that or go against that, they die upon that, does not forgive that. But he forgives everything other than that. Between Adam, may peace be upon him, and Noah, Noah may peace be upon him, there were 10 generations or a term can be translated as generation or it can be translated as a century so there was a certain period of time let's say if it was a century there were 10 centuries all the people were on islam they were on tawheed they did not associate partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what is the meaning of this narration it's a correct narration it means that for a thousand years there was no shirk between Adam and Noah, there was much more than a thousand years, but there were a thousand years in which there was no shirk. There was no association of partners with Allah. And after a thousand years, it crept in. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Noah, may peace be upon him, as the first prophet to those who were engaged in shirk. I feel the same facts like I feel you're not supposed to worship anyone except God like it's written in the Bible it's in the Quran so 
I feel it's, it's something no one is supposed to try. Like, you're not supposed to try. It's like, God is supreme. And so to give him that acknowledgement, he does not share his glory with any man. So I, I believe this. Like, I feel this is, this is a fact. Like, it's a stamped fact. Guys, this, this was amazing, guys. I enjoyed myself watching this. I enjoyed myself seeing this. Like, even if I knew it, but I'm still going to take note of it. Like, you're not supposed to share God's glory with any man at all. So, guys, this was good. Guys, if any recommendation you want to check out, guys, leave it in my comment section. Guys, please sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.